Hello. This is part 18 of Ninja News. I'm your host, Ninja Johnny Boy. Welcome, ladies and gents. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, whether you're watching in the morning, afternoon, or the evening, welcome. Um, hope you all enjoy the the uh, fact that I um I believe I've, I I figured out the audio situation. Um, there was a really serious buzzing issue, like a buzz buzzing going on. I think we f we figured that out. Um. Anyway, welcome. Um, got an interesting news story here. Article from. This is out of Toronto. Let's get into it, shall we? Uber is uh, launching self-driving car research lab in Toronto. Um, Uber has hailed a prominent artificial intelligence academic to lead a driverless car project in Toronto. Uh, the ride, the ride hailing company's first such research hub outside the United States. Uh, CEO Travis Kalanick uh, said he was proud to have Raquel Ertesan, uh, an associate professor at the University of Toronto, on board. Uh, he described her as one of the world's leading researchers in, in fields of machine perception and artificial intelligence. Uh, quote, uh, quoting, Raquel will remain in Toronto to lead a new branch of our advanced technologies group, uh, our first outside the U.S. Uh, Raquel's work focuses on developing the software that allows self-driving cars to quote-unquote see, uh, recognizing objects uh, so they can navigate the world smoothly, smoothly and safely. End quote. Um, in an interview from San Francisco, Ertesan told uh, the Canadian press discussions with Uber began a few months ago. Uh, the lab has now begun operation with her and eight of her students, uh, with dozens of, well, probably now more than dozens of people uh, still to be hired uh, in the near future. Uh, from what Kalanick describes as the region's quote quote impressive talent pool um, so you know some of, some of Canada's best and brightest on this thing going on um, I think that's great you know um, a key area of focus she says um, will be what is called perception uh, essentially the brain of the self-driving car that means coming up with formulas to interpret information from sensors such as video cameras um, about what's happening around the vehicle uh, such as nearby cars pedestrians cyclists um, also to predict what what they might do in the coming seconds and you know work a mathematical equation on how fast they're going and you know it's kind of um, I don't know how to really um, I'm not going to get too much into it because I'm not a professional on that but I can kind of get a grasp of it um, some of these technologies are just kind of being put together now without a driver and um, um, our son is quoting and saying it's a complicated task um, and this is why we don't have self-driving cars anywhere well or everywhere right now for that fact but uh, it's definitely not an impossible quest uh, the lab will also focus on quote-unquote localization um, at any point in time the car needs to know where it is in the world she said Ertesan said she would she was not concerned about joining the company uh, that is facing a lawsuit from Google's uh, self-driving car unit um, the, the claim alleges um, uber used stolen trade secrets to develop uh, sensors for its autonomous vehicles um, 
or to sunset her research area is in a different area going under quote saying if I had doubts that uber did something wrong I would never have joined the company um, she also she she also acknowledged uh, her hire as a high-profile woman by a company looking to change an image uh, some have attacked as misogynistic um, saying she discussed the issue with Kalanick um, that's kind of messed up. I don't know about that. I'm not going to get too much into that. That's just part of the uh, article. Uh, she said uh, the company is doing everything necessary to change whatever the remaining issues are. Uh, the associate computer science professor originally from Pamplona in Spain uh, has previously been an assistant professor um, at the Toyota Te Te Technological Institute at Chicago and a visiting professor in Switzerland. Uh, her research interests include machine learning, computer vision, uh, also robotics and remote sensing. Um, in February, uh, she was awarded the fellowship given each year to Canada's top six scientists and engineers for her work on machine perception for self-driving cars. Um, while she won't predict when self-driving cars might become a common sight, she does say those able to ply simple uh, controlled routes might be in place relatively soon. Uh, Kalanick said Toronto has become an important hub of artificial intelligence research, um, which he called critical to the future of transportation. Uh, that's why we are also making a significant multi-year financial commitment as a platinum sponsor of the Vector Institute, which Raquel um, helped to set up as a co-founder, Kellenick said. Um, uh, Erdesan is one of the co-founders uh, of the independent non-profit institute set up in March. Um, its aim... Um, is to push Canada to forefront of research into artificial intelligence. Um, it's kind of a big deal, you know. It's a big leap in um, our our science and what's going on here and what's going on everywhere else. And I think it's a cool cool move on Uber to to kind of do that, you know. Um, maybe it's a maybe it's a cut back on. Uh, employees and you know whatever um, it's a company and it's a relatively new company um, the new lab will focus on improved mapping for autonomous cars uh, but the company which also does driverless car research in San Francisco and also Pittsburgh uh, said it had no plans to actually test the vehicles in Toronto um, quoting uh, Self-driving technology promises to make our roads safer, our environment healthier, and our cities more livable. Um, while there's still a lot of work to be done, uh, we believe the, work, the, the combination of our global ride-sharing network with cutting-edge software and hardware being built by our teams uh, will make this vision a reality. Um, you know, maybe the guy is maybe the guy's a visionary maybe he's a kind of blowing it on this one we'll see I don't know um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below um, uh, I've been away I, I have a, I have missed a couple of uploads and I apologize for that but um, I um, I'm gonna continue with mostly a good full week of uploads and then uh, the week in review um, well that's all I've got for you guys this time around this concludes um, part 18 of ninja news I'm your host ninja Johnny boy signing off take care people mm -hmm.